from Toyota Park as we welcome you into our live game coverage. The Chicago Fire meet up with the Montreal Impact for the third and final time. A changes for Frank Lopez. In comes Logan Paws in centre midfield alongside Rios, meaning Jeff Lorentowitz will go back and play centre back alongside Austin Berry in the absence of the suspended Baki Sumari. Talking point tonight, obviously Nesta is out, so in comes Vandri Lefebvre. Played 36 minutes all season in Major League Soccer. That was actually against the Chicago Fire back in April when he came on as a substitute. Matches like this that are made for Mike McGee, it's been his time of the year. He doesn't go quiet for long, especially since he came over to his hometown team. As here's Jeff Lorenowitz squarely over to Ferrari. Davey Arno, nice cut. Finding DeVaio. DeVaio, the left-footed strike. Marco DeVaio has struck for the 19th time this season. And he finishes in style for Montreal. Marco DeVaio, the predator, the fox in the box. Just watch. Gets in behind again. Trademark DeVaio goal. Always available for the pass. It's a class finish from a quality player. Just gets inside Gonzalo Cigaris and Austin Berry. The marking wasn't tight enough. Vintage Marco De Vallo. Everybody fancying a smack tonight with the fire down, one nothing. McGee saunters up to it, right foot! Just wide of that yawning goal. Referee has pointed for a corner. So I'm curious to see whether the wall got a touch or whether Troy Perkins made a miraculous save. What about that for an effort from Mike McGee? But Perkins didn't get a touch. Lorenowitz near post. Now Perkins gets his paws on it for the fire. Montreal still looking for their first. Here's McGee, right foots it in. Rising up is Rios. Stopped by Perkins. The smallest man on the pitch. With a belting header. Rios unmarked, just outside the six. Safely headed away by Borofsky. Nice anticipation by the energetic Chris Rolfe. A cool turn in the middle to Alex. Alex to sidestep the drive. Mike McGee, he is leveled it. Mike McGee is 17th. goal from the Chicago Fire and it all came about from the substitutions Chris Rolfe and Alex the providers Alex's shot takes a wicked deflection who's there only Mike McGee the predator inside the box great instincts from McGee and what about that for a cool calm finish 17 for the season now two behind the vial once more one all at Toyota Park game on sometimes those direct kickouts can have Big time effects. Oh, McGee, big time effect to steal. And the snipe McGee in the final lead. Make it two. Mike McGee has his first place. Mike McGee says, Marco Tavayo, you get one, I'll go get two. 18th of the season for Mike McGee. Just hounds down Troy Perkins in the goal. A little tug on the jersey, the referee didn't see it. Play away, Mike McGee tucks it home with these. Great pressure, great intensity, and a quality finish to boot. 2-1 Chicago Fire, we talked about their bounce back ability, and we've seen it again tonight at Toyota Park. Guy battling for the golden boot. Mike McGee, two goals already. This is Niako. 
Patrick Nyako. Broski's been a handle to deal with back there for Montreal. Five in blue. It's McGee finding Nyako again. Patrick the cut. Perkins off his line. Empty goal and a non -gano. It takes a deflection, but the fire are going to get a chance from the spot. Already with a one goal lead. And now the plot thickens in the 78th minute as the fire try to stretch this lead. And a glorious chance for a Mike McGee hat trick here at Toyota Park. Patrick Nyako, look at this for a little nutmeg. Goes around the defender. And Troy Perkins hauls him down. Montreal Impact furious. Feeling that the referee played advantage. And Juan Luis Anongano's shot was blocked. So earlier in the match, he got his first brace. Trying to give the fire a 3-1 lead and tie Marco De Bayo in the golden boot race here. McGee for the hat trick. Rattles the woodwork. So close. Now Montreal has life coming the other way. Nicely bumped back by Jeff Lorenowitz. Oh, so close. So, so close. McGee went high, the crossbar stood in the way, a two-goal lead for the Chicago Fire. So here's Rolf. Anand Gano stretching that back line, one touch, pins the post. Anand Gano tracks it down, still not done, Mike McGee, goal line clearance from Montreal. As Kamara back to save the day. How many times can you come so close? You miss a PK off the woodwork. And Anangano on the Chicago Fire come close. Not once, but twice. I can't believe what I'm seeing here, Dan. What about that for a pass from Rolf? And this was so close to going in. Juan Luis Anangano does really, really well. Gets there first ahead of Perkins. Little nutmeg on the defender. And then picks out Mike McGee. Look at that for defending from Kamara. Such discipline. We saw it with Chris Rolfe earlier in the season here when the Chicago Fire beat Montreal on the same scoreline. Might start doing yoga after matches like this to relax. It's been an exciting Saturday night trying to finish the deal. Problem is Montreal trying to say something. DeVaio struts into the area. Closed down by Anibaba. Second ball. Knocked towards the side of the goal. And Montreal has leveled it. Tiso with the delicate little header in the 87th minute. A disappointing strike by the kids from Montreal. Look at the run from Marco De Vallo again, hugging the shoulder of Austin Berry. A failed clearance from Laurentowitz. Cannons off Anibaba, falls for Tiso, who just guides the ball home with his head. Very good finish, it has to be said. Just guides the ball home. But given the chances Chicago Fire had, you said it. The final whistle sounds. A disappointing look for Mike McGee and the Chicago Fire. It ends in a draw.